today I want to get ready and I want to do like a full face of uh, new products mixed with the most purchased eyeshadow palette from Sephora. The first thing I want to say is like I'm having a drink. It's Saturday night. You know, I wasn't feeling like sleepy at all. And uh, usually me and my husband, we do like party time on the weekends. And we have some drinks and watch like a Netflix series or something like that. But we, we have been watching so many series lately. So I don't know, last night he had like a bad night's sleep and he, he has been all day falling asleep all over the couch and everywhere. So I told him, go to bed, go to bed. I stay by myself in the living room. So I'm like, but I want to have a drink tonight because it's Saturday night and you know, and I want to get pretty. So anyway, I'm going to be using this NAR Sheer Glow Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundation. This is in the shade uh, Barcelona. I do have the shade Cadiz, which is my summer shade. And I mix them both together and I get the right shade for my tan skin right now. I love this foundation. It's very glowing, but usually like it's very glowing on my skin, but because my skin is very oily and I'm back to be using the dermatologist um, moisturizer that has been drying out so much my pores. Okay, I'm gonna apply this all over my face. And I love apply this foundation with this MAC brush. This is like a, I mean, this brush is for everything. Everything that has to do with cream product, with powder. Uh, but I love to apply my foundation with this brush. And this one is the MAC 159S. It just looks so like effortless when you apply with this brush. Any foundation, doesn't matter the foundation. Let me tell you, for... Before New Year Eve, my neighbor called me the cops. I know. I know that sounds crazy, right? Yeah, well, that happened. The last last year, the last month of last year, December, is being a lot of struggle with us here in the house because our neighbors, I mean, the house next door was on sale, okay? So the new owners are Chinese, the Asians, and they bought a house. And they've been having all kind of people working in the house for the past eight months at this point. And they've been doing construction and it's impossible to watch TV in the house during the day because they've been with the noise like every single day. So one day I'm home minding my business like always. And this woman knock my, ring my bell, knock my door and I go outside. And, he said, and she introduced herself with her husband and she told me, she basically said that she bought a house next door and that the previously owners sold them. The house for like a million, a million and a half dollars. So they were the new owner and they were going to have a lot of construction there because they basically wouldn't move until this year, um, July, August, something like that. So she seems very nice. I mean, you know. Where I come from, I gotta be honest, we don't miss with Chinese people. Like, I don't know, they have their way of living and we do respect them, but we just don't miss with them. They're over there and we're over here. Why? Because Chinese people usually go for business. Like, I mean, down there where I come from, they have stores everywhere and you go and buy stuff from them like convenience stores and they're very nice, very polite. And you say hello to them, you buy whatever you want, you pay and you go by your day, right? Well, sadly, with these people is being the opposite. And I I won't judge. I'm not judging. I'm not saying that the old Chinese people are like this. I just found like these people are special, let's say. Very special. So let me tell you, they, that, that lady came to my door. She was very polite. I was very polite to her. She was very humble. We say hello. Uh, she even gave me her phone number. She asked my phone number. I gave it to her, which she was very weird. I don't know, especially because in New York City, the neighbors, they don't tend to come to your door and ask you for your phone number when you ha they, have it, they, they have it right there next to you. That makes sense. And we do share a driveway because this house is built like sharing a driveway with the, with the house next door, which is the house they bought it, the house they bought. So 
Okay, so now I'm going to be using my Ginger Concealer by NARS, and this one is Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love it. So anyway, they bought a house, and they were very nice about it, that they will, have, they will do a lot of construction. We had no problem. We know that when you buy a place and you want to, like, basically change the whole concept of the house, it's okay to get permits and change, you know, and build your ha the house of your dream if you want. That's your business. You're the one that's spending the money on that. Good for you, you know? Anyway, for seven, eight months, there's three, four, five inspector like ringing my bell every single day, accusing me that I'm doing construction in my house. And clearly, it wasn't me. So I say, I'm sorry, but the construction is not here. The construction is next door. You're wrong. Like, if you're looking for a place that doing construction is the house next door, I'm not doing any construction here. And if you want, well, you can, you're can. welcome to come into, inside my place because I'm not doing construction. Because they start asking me for permits and stuff like that. I'm like, anyway, one day the construction was so bad in noise. Like, no one day. Basically every single day. So neighbors start complaining, like all the neighbors are in front of us start complaining. I don't even know those neighbors, I gotta tell you. I've been living here for three, four years, and I don't even know those freaking neighbors next door. I just see them for sure, but I don't I don't know them. I, I don't really know anything. I don't even know their name. I don't go ringing their bell and introducing myself or my daughter or my husband. Like everybody here live their own life. Like people here are so busy, they we work and stuff. We just like Pass a whole pandemic, like there's no time to be like going to the neighbor door and knock yourself, introduce yourself. If where you come from, that's okay. Where I come from, that's okay. It's fine. But here where I live in New York City, you never like see something like this. Like it, it could be exceptions, but not here, you know. Anyway, so. She said to me, I say to her, look, I keep having people ringing my bell, asking me for permits and basically obligating me to open the door for them to make sure that I'm not doing construction in my house because they don't believe me. And you are the one that's doing the construction. You know, you got to just take it easy with the noise. And also, I noticed that you work uh, in, the, in the morning until the afternoon, but you also work at night. And she said to me, I swear, guys, she said to me, yeah. Those people over here, they're just jealous. They're jealous of me. That's why they keep calling to complain. Hold on, let me have my drink. They're calling to complain because I got to tell you, I do have all my permit and I have my permit to work in the weekends too. So I say, oh my God. So the noise is just, in my mind, I'm like, the noise is not just Monday to Friday, but it's also Saturday and Sunday. Like how the hell are we going to be able to coexist in this place seven days a week? noise from construction jackhammering banging walls i mean wow like i don't know like seriously construction like noise like how are we gonna be able to coexist in this place for seven days a week like wow and also at night those people are working at night like those people don't even take a break you know okay i'm gonna be using these uh Anastasia Rebel Hill Brow Pomade. I love this product. This is dark brown. Anyway, so I was just like, I just, how the hell am I going to be able to live here with my daughter? How is she going to do her homework when these people are banging back, like walls very bad and they jackhammer in the place and everything? And nothing. We were sucking up the noise. Like we were basically sucking the noise up. Every single day we weren't complaining. Everybody else was complaining. We were just quiet about it. We we're minding our business. We didn't, have an issue. we didn't want issue with anybody. We just want to like them to wish them the best and finish them as soon as possible so they can keep moving in their place. So we can also live very peaceful the way we were living before, right? Well, that didn't end up there. That didn't work. Uh, one day, her husband... My husband worked from home. Mo like basically he worked Monday to Friday, but he worked three days from home and two days visiting customers. 
so it was impossible for him to work and I want to make videos and I was just constantly waiting at night to make videos but I couldn't make videos at night either because again they were working at night too it was the same type of noise and for some reason you call the police here the cops and I want one and the cops doesn't give a crap they don't care about anything really noise they want you to call the building department or go make an appointment with the building department they don't care about absolutely anything that has to do with noise and construction. They, this is not the priority. And I do understand, but at the same time, those cops here in New York City, I mean, I don't know all the cops, but the ones that, the area where I live, they're extremely lazy. Don't even get me started. So the thing is like, this woman said to me that day that those neighbors could do whatever they want because she had a permit to work Monday to, to Sunday and also work at night. So I was like, okay, she's right. She's, she had a, you know, she got her permit for the day and for the night. They were coming here at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning and start the noise. And they were living here like 10, 11, 12 p.m. at night. And I was just like, this is freaking ridiculous. In my mind, you know, I was like, these people in this building department in New York City, how they allow somebody like these people to do this type of noise every single day, even the weekend, like, they don't understand that even any person deserves a day off. I mean, at least give me a Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> like, why the noise has to be every single day? Like, I cannot live like this. So I was getting extremely, I was getting extremely, extremely stressed. Like, super stressed. And, yeah, I, I was going through such a hard time. You had no idea with the noise. And they just didn't give a crap about me or about the rest of the neighbor. They were, they, she want to build her dream house. She, she bought an old piece of crap house and she like remade the whole, I mean, keep in mind, this house is here, has like, like three floors, like two, three floors with a basement. And she was extending the whole, like inside, don't even get me started. I was very, very, very upset. And I was talking to my husband. And my husband started losing customers on the phone because of the noise. So I went over there and I said to her, look, I understand. But look, you work last year on Memorial Day. You work, you know, Thanksgiving is coming. And it's a day that we want to be able to enjoy, me and my family. We want to cook like every year and want to make something nice for the table and sit on the table with my daughter. She's only six years old and want to be able to enjoy herself. Like, please, I hope you, you don't come those days to make noise. Like he's Thanksgiving for God's sake. And you know what she said to me? You know, to me, it doesn't matter because we are communists. We don't, um, we don't celebrate holidays. So I was like, wait a minute, but this freaking building department should know that these people shouldn't be doing this construction and this noise and this banging all those workers in and out of the driveway because guess what? It's holiday. They should respect the holiday like all the Americans here. Oh no. This Chinese woman absolutely rude. She came to my house. I even in, in buy her. I never done something like that. I invite her in my living room and I, you know, I ask her to sit and to hear that, you know, I say, look, my living room is right here. Like the noise is very brutal. Like you can hear your own workers working right now and it's how bad it is. Like, please, I want the, like, the Thanksgiving to be able to, to be able to enjoy it with my family. Like, please don't come that day. So she say, okay, you celebrate that. I'm gonna bring you a turkey. I say, you don't need to bring me anything. What you need to do is make sure that your workers doesn't come to break anything, jackhammering anything, get rid of the roof or whatever, especially that day. Like if you want to come on the weekend, that's fine. But I mean, Thursday and Friday will be nice if, if you don't make any noise. She compromised that she wouldn't come. Yeah, she didn't come on uh, Thursday, but she did came, she came Friday, she came Saturday, and she came Sunday. And I'm like, oh, I gotta suck this because I have nothing to do. And I was just getting stressed, stressed with the noise every single day. And I was just quiet, doing nothing, minding my own business. And I was just trying to persist through all this change and everything. Let me tell you, one day, 
my husband was losing customers, and I went and I asked her to please keep him down because my husband, my husband was talking on the phone, and her husband was so rude to me, and he said to me like, "I fuck off." He said to me like, Psh. "Like I'm not gonna like I don't wanna keep it quiet, or nothing. Like do whatever you want." So I say, "Well, I'm gonna call the cops." I'm gonna call the cops. I say, and he say, "Call whatever you want." We wanna keep making noise, and that was like a, a Friday morning. Like the next, like the following week, but yeah, the following week was December already. So after that happened, she, I saw her through the window that she was just quiet, hiding behind the, 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 like the wall, but I saw everything through the window. And I got very upset. I told my husband, I said, I'm going to call 911. So I called them and they came. And I told the, the cop from the 911. The first thing the 911 asks you when you call them is like, why, I mean, why, what, what, what ethnicity are, are they? I say they are Asian, they're Chinese. And they say, okay, are they armed or something? They have guns or anything like that, or explosives? I'm like, no, it's just an issue because of the noise. So then the 911 say like, okay, we're going to send somebody. Of course, they took a while to send someone. When they, the person finally, the cops finally came to my door, the cops ring the bell and I went and I told them what happened. It was a Chinese cop. And the cop said to me, like, okay, you need to get, get, get over it. Like, everybody, I say, look, these people over there, special husband, like, curse me and say all these nasty words because he did say all these nasty words. And the cop said to me, like, you need to get, get over it. Like, a lot of people get cursed in life. Like, this is not the only word. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? And they're like, I cannot do anything because they're in the property and they have a permit and I cannot do anything. And yeah, the cops say that to me. And I was so disappointed, guys, because I was like, unbelievable. Like, are you going to tell me that you cannot do anything? And the guy, like, basically is training me because he, he was saying all these nasty words that I don't want to mention here on YouTube. And he's, the cop is like, get over it. Like, everybody... You know, at some point in your life, you're going to be cursed. Like, let it go. And I was just like, the, the, respect, the audacity from this cup, right? The audacity. So after that, I was just like, I never want to call these freaking cops again anymore. Like, I miss Long Island because if something like this will happen in Long Island, like, they will come already and do something about it. But these freaking cops here are shit. They don't, they're useless. Anyway, so the cops let the cops like you want me to talk to them? I'm like, no, that's not necessary. Leave it like that. So then they left, and when they left, I just I got tired and I called like three one one, which is the phone number that you call to complain out in the building department. And I spoke to them. I told them everything that happens, and they gave me an appointment. And they said like, okay, do you have evidence? And I said, yeah, I have evidence. So I went over there because I do have cameras all over the place. Oh, because the cops say to me, like, if you have camera and you have evidence, like, I can arrest them. But if you don't have evidence, I cannot do anything about it. At that moment, I didn't have cameras. So that same day, I went and got, and got cameras. So then they made, me, they, gave, they made me an appointment after I called 311 to go, like, the following Monday. And I went there. And I already had, like, evidence, cameras when those people were doing the construction on the weekend, throwing like the roof through, through my driveway, keeping my wheelchair driveway. Next to my car, where I was going with my daughter walking and they were throwing like the roof, no wearing harness, like it, it was a mess, <laughs> it was a mess. And I went there and I spoke to an inspector as soon as he saw all the pictures in the video, he's like, they're not supposed to do that. And I'm looking at the system and they don't have a permit to work in the weekend. And they don't have a permit to work at night. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, yeah, they had a permit from 7 to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. They're not supposed to work on the weekend and they're not supposed to work uh, at night. And I'm like, I've been sucking this noise for freaking seven, eight months from these people during the day and during the night. And also on the weekend, you're telling me they don't have a permit? Like, this is ridiculous. Eh. This is New York City. This is America. This is America, you know. 
I don't know how it's in other states or America because I never been, I don't know the situation in other states, but here in New York City, this shit sucks. It's like the worst. Um, I spoke to my landlord several times about the noise and everything, and the landlord said, like, why, why he cannot do anything about it? What he's supposed to do? Like, basically, he doesn't want to do anything about it because he cannot do anything about it because, like, he just want to collect his rent and he's living wherever the hell he lives, so he got no, any of those issues, so he doesn't really give a shit, and he doesn't care, you know? Okay, so I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Primer. So... He doesn't care, but we care because we're the one that we're going, th we're going through all this noise, you know? So, super annoying and so disappointing. I used to cry, you had no idea. I used to like come here and try to make a video and I will be so frustrated because it, there was so much banging here that I couldn't film. So, I would just cry like, or oh, anger, if that makes sense like how upsetting the whole situation was and so what happened was one day i had my car in my backyard which is the backyard of my property inside my property in the back of my house and one of her worker went and crashed my car so i called the cops again and i told them look they crashed my car and the cops said they couldn't do anything about it that if i want to do something I had to take them to civil court. Keep in mind, I call civil court, and civil court say, like those lawyers, they, they say that process can take up to three years. Two, three years, did you hear that? Two, three years here in New York City. What a joke. So I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, two, three years. Like you can come here, you gotta pay some kind of money. And then we, we, do, all the, we do all the process. We like made them come here to see a judge, but that can take up to three years. So I was like, unbelievable, unbelievable. So I, the, I, I, when I call the cops, the cops say like, oh, we cannot do anything about it. Like, I'm sorry. And yeah, the cops didn't want to make the, didn't allow me to make the complaint, nothing. They say they couldn't do anything about it and they just left. So I let them go. So I noticed that those people were driving again in my in my backyard, like they were driving around my car, like her employees. So I went to her and I say, look, you guys already crashed my car. Like I will appreciate if you guys make sure not to drive in my property. Like I know we share a driveway, but the backyard of my property is my property. You shouldn't be driving over there next to my car. I don't want any of your employees. You should, you should supervise your employees because you're the one that allowed them to enter into that shared driveway and they're driving in circles around my car. I don't want them to crash my car one more time. Especially because, you know, this is what happened already. They crashed my car and the cops didn't do shit. So she said to me, oh, I'm not gonna do anything because you need to call me if you want me to, like, when you see them doing that, you need to come and ring my bell and let me know. And I say, why I need to let you know this? Like, this is ridiculous. This is, you're the one that allowed them, and you should supervise them. When they come, they enter into the driveway that we share, so you should let them know. So, um, and my husband said, did you tell her when I was coming inside my house? My husband said, did you tell her that she's a liar, that she lied to you, that she doesn't have a permit? And I say, no, I didn't tell her anything, and she was listening outside. I say, I don't want to speak with that freaking liar. Let's just get inside. So we came inside. Five minutes later, somebody's ringing my bell. And when I'm going to open my bell, ma, somebody's ringing my bell. When I'm going to open my door, is this Chinese cop. The same cop that came the two um, previous time that told me, like, oh, get over it. I will be cursed and whatever. It was this, this cop. And he said to me, like, she just calls to tell us that you went there and yelled at her. I'm like, no, I just told her. I don't want any of her employees around my car. And the cop is like, you're right. Well, take them to civil court. I don't wanna like I told her I cannot make any I uh, cannot allow her to make a complaint. But take them to civil court because you're right and you got the evidence and all the proof. Like show them to in civil court, and yeah, just try not to get close to her. And I'm like, what do you mean trying to get close to her? I already spoke to her. I had nothing else to talk to her anymore. 
And the cop is like, yeah, we came because she called 911 and like, she said that you were jailing her and whatever. And I'm like, whatever. So then the cops left again. Guys, I'm going to be using the most purchased eyeshadow palette by Sephora, which is the Tooth Fairy uh, Sweet Peach. And this palette smells so good. It looks like this. And I'm kind of, I kind of like it. It's an everyday eyeshadow palette. And I think it's so pretty. Anyway, so I'm just going to be using the color Delectable, which is so pretty. I don't want to put my finger in there. This one right here. I use the color. You know, very, very upset and very, very upset and very sad. I got to tell you, I feel like shit because this, this woman, her people crashed my car and I cannot get justice for my car parking my property they they constantly trespassing my property that's what they do her employees every day trespass my property in their vans in their car in their buses everything because she allowed them with her husband to enter to the driveway because they have cars to in the park on top of the driveway so they take the car out so the drive the, the employees can get in but so they can go park in their property but intending to park in the property they park in my property and they're always driving around my property in my car so i couldn't get justice for that and it was very upsetting so me and my husband started looking for places to rent to move out of here and we went to several places but i gotta tell you most of the places that are here in new york city they are so expensive and we were willing to pay that rent that amount of rent like four thousand hundred uh forty five hundred even five thousand dollars to get the f out of here and some places have rats even with that price they have rats other places the rooms are extremely small uh they just those houses they just don't look good not look good i gotta tell you it was very disappointing this house is much much better even when it's an old house you know super 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 upset so I told my husband, you know what? I'm telling to be looking for a place. Let's just buy our place. Let's buy our house. Let's buy our home and we get the F out of here. Like, I don't want to live here anymore. I don't want to deal with those Chinese people. I don't want to deal with any of this nonsense. Before these people came, we were so happy. And all the neighbors here were happy. Now they came. They're all miserable and I'm miserable too. Like, the noise, the disrespect. These people every day driving around my car. Like, they don't care. They don't care this camera. They have no respect for anybody. You know, they don't follow rules. And I just want to leave. You want to get out of here. So my husband said to me, yeah, Carla, but if you leave, they're going to win. You don't think it's like that? Like if you you leave, you guys will leave. They, it's like getting the victory. So they win. And I say, I don't care. I just want to get out of here. Like I cannot make videos, which can bring me a lot of joy. And I, can, I cannot do anything. I cannot watch TV. I can. I have to... Be with my headphones all day and night. I had to have my daughter with headphones all day. These freaking people from the government here in New York City, they are shit. They don't care. They just care about, you know, give their permit to these people so people pay them for the permit. And they don't care. Those inspectors keep coming and they keep getting fines, like, you know, violation fines. And they keep paying them and they keep working. Like, they know they're not supposed to work in the weekend. And was, guess what? They, they got fined for that and they keep coming to work in the weekend they come to work at night they don't care they have no respect for anybody you know so i was like no i just want to leave like i'm going to take this color called summer yum it's a bit of a shade over here nepali and i said to my husband i just want to leave here i'm very unhappy like i want to leave like this is no life seriously like, I don't want to live like this. And I was crying a lot, guys. Like, I have to be honest. I was crying because it's so frustrated that you have your peace in home. And you just cannot do anything here. It's, it's terrible, you know? So now, the the permit to be working outside the whole house is, over, is, is like, expired. And they, they didn't renew it. So they had a permit to work until the end of March this year. In mind that, they started in June last year. And they they finish they're supposed to be finished like the end of March and they're supposed to be moving April or or, or May into the house. Well, guess what? Most of the worker, the Chinese worker, that speak no English by the way, because they don't those Chinese employees don't speak English. They 
they're living there. The house doesn't even have a permit to to like to live in there yet. You know what I mean? Because once they finish all that construction, they're supposed to get a permit, like an inspector need to come and look at the place and say, okay, this place is good to, for you to move in or live in here. Well, they've been living there already. Like I see everything in camera. They've been living there and there's working this worker coming and getting out, going to get breakfast, coming with clothes, doing laundry and coming back and stuff like that. Like it's a whole illegal stuff. <sighs> what happened was they were, he, her husband was like, again, taking his cars two days ago, his big truck to let other drivers to come around my car, right? And I was saying, I was seeing on camera, when he was like directing their drive, the employee saying like park over there, like park next to my car, next to my property, in my property. So um, I called the police and the cops came and the cops say like, well, I gotta tell you when the, I called 911 and explain everything that was happening, the cops came and the cops like, they called me and they said, we are here outside, like come outside. They weren't supposed to ring my bell. That's what I thought. I'm like, what the hell happened here? So I went out and I'm like, my husband is like, you want me to come with you? I'm saying, yeah, you know, to give me some emotional support. Come with me, right? So we went outside. When we went outside, those cops were so lazy, guys. They didn't even get out of the car. They're like, oh, like you're supposed to go outside. So I went to their car. They were parked outside my, my house. I went there and I talked to them. And I told them again everything that I said on the phone. And then they're like, we can go talk to them, right? But I mean, we cannot do anything about it. They're doing that, you gotta take them to civil court. And again, I already say that I call civil court, and civil court say that process can take up to three years. And our contract expires next year by December. Plus, we're already looking for a house to move out of here. So we don't have the money right now to move out. But my husband say that, from work and everything, like, you know, you already spoke to his boss that he they, he can increase his salary and everything. And we are dead that we have that we're paying right now. We we can move, maybe, God willing, we can move out of here, like, I don't know, July, August, system, September. So I'm excited about that, you know? And I was just like, okay. So it would be great. So... How am I going to take these people to court for because they crashed my car and because of all their nonsense when they basically, when basically I'm moving out of here like in the middle of the year, God willing. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Like I'm just going to wait and I'm just going to forget that they even live, like they even exist. Like I'm just going to forget about them. Like I don't care what they do with their life. If they want to have 300 Chinese people living illegal in the house, I don't care. I, you know, I don't care if they even park in, in my property, in the back of my car, in the back of my house. How long they don't touch my car? I mean, if they touch my car, I already have the cameras. I mean, I do have evidence when they touch my car and they were driving around my car. That didn't do anything either way because the cops here, doesn't, they, they're useless. They're useless. So I was just like, you know, I just gonna hope for the best and hopefully they don't hit my car again and just let them do whatever illegal crap they wanna do in that driveway in my property because either way this is not my house I'm renting here and do whatever the hell they want with the noise next door because guess what? I'm getting out of here like the time is gonna pass and God willing we're gonna be able to get out of here and I just gonna let them but I had no sh I had no choice. Thanks to this law here or this police here, I got no choice. I cannot do anything about it. And they're like, you can hire a lawyer and you can go to civil court. Who got time for that? Where's the money? Like, I'm saving money to buy my own place. You think I'm going to spend money on a lawyer to take this neighbor because of the noise and because they hit my car? Like, I don't have the money for that. Like. I'm sorry, but I don't. And it's very unfair and it's frustrating. But I had to live like this because I got no other choice. No other choice, believe me. So I'm going to use more of that color. Ah, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the color uh, Talk Derby 
to me is beautiful like purple shimmer color over here that it has like some um purple shimmer and it's very reflecting so pretty so that's what i'm going to do i was just like i'm just gonna forget about the well since the cops came that day even when the cops finally got out their asses out of the car and they went and talked to them the chinese guy told him like her husband told him told the cops like no problem i don't want to like trespass her property anymore and since that day i noticed that they they didn't trespass my property but because they did like a whole vegetable gay area they closed the i will see if i can post pictures or how the houses looks and how she made this like fence around um to like cultivate vegetables and you know so since she did that they have to turn around in my property because there's no space for them to turn around because she decided to close her whole backyard we like uh, where the where her cars are supposed to turn she closed that and made like a big gate for vegetables and we're in winter unbelievable and yeah the cops here are useless you cannot call them because for something like that they don't care and you gotta call the building department the building department or what it does is send inspector after the neighbors complain but it's an inspector but i don't know what is the situation that every time you send an inspector he's saying a chinese inspector and I gotta be honest, I don't know if I should say this on camera because I don't have proof of that, what I'm telling you, but I saw it with my own eyes. When the inspector came that day, that was an Asian inspector, there were a lot of conversation between the Chinese, her Chinese husband and the inspector. And I think he was writing something to the inspector and the inspector didn't even look anything inside and just left. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you receive something, you know, very sketchy, the whole thing. And I was checking everything through the window and I'm like, unbelievable, because they never were complaining. Because they never told me like, and now that these people are there, they're constantly coming to my house to tell me that they keep calling the inspector, the building department because of these people, you know, I cannot wait to get my house. And let me tell you, I told my husband, I don't want neighbors. Like, I want to buy my place, but I want the neighbors to have so, some kind of distance from my property. Like, look, when we were living in Long Island, it was hell because of those neighbors there that were so racist. And now the Chinese people had no respect. Like, they just don't care. They don't care to hurt the, the people next door, which are us, or the people on the other side for do whatever they have to do. You know, like, they don't care. So I was just like, oh. I'm gonna apply more of that color Summer Jam, which is the one I'm applying right now my crease. I love it, I think it's very pretty. So I'm just gonna like, forget about them. Hopefully, and hope for the best that they can move in quick and finish the construction so they can move in and lead their life and just start having all these employees and all these Chinese people illegal, like driving in and out the house, the driveway, and driving on my property and next to my car. I don't really care about my property again because this is not my house, this is the landlord house. But it's more because my car is in the back because my husband parked in the front of the house so they don't drive around my car, basically. That kind of sucks. It sucks, but it sucks more that here you cannot like, you cannot confide yourself or trust the authorities because they just don't care. But this is New York City. I told my husband I never, 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 ever want to live in New York City again after this. I want to move back to Long Island. I want to go back. To, I want to go north. And I never want to live in New York City again because I noticed that New York City has tons of problems with nervous like this and people like this. Um, yeah. And I just don't want to live in New York City anymore. And my husband is like, don't worry. We're going to find something north. We're going to find something like. I don't know if you want, like, we can move uh, to Connecticut or move to Long Island, like, somewhere over there. And I'm like, yeah, I will be fine with that, like, for sure. Anyway, I'm going to be using this color called White Peach in the palette. So that's what I want to do. I want to move, like, north 
Like we were so happy here with the neighbors that were next door, that were the previously owner. We never had any issue because they respect us. We respect them as much as possible. And they were so kind to us. We were so kind to them in anything. And these people came. And keep in mind, those previously owners were Korean. Uh, yeah, South Korea. Um, they were Koreans. And these ones are Chinese. They had no respect for anything. They just don't like to follow rules. They think they're smarter than everybody else, so they want to do the things their way. I can't believe this woman came to my house and my door when I think about it, and she's introduced herself. She's like, oh, we had. I don't care about everybody complaining from us because and sending us inspector because if they find, they give us fine. I don't care. We pay the fine and the penalty because guess what? We have permit, like for the weekend and work at night. And then the... The person from the building department say they don't have a, a permit for the weekend. They don't have a permit for the night. Like they're breaking the law. Yeah. But who is going to hold them accountable for that? Like, and that's why I have not been making videos so much because of the situation. And it's been eight months and it's so annoying. I'm going to use this color. And I'm going to use, I'm going to mix it with this one, this two. And I'm going to apply them on my lower lash line. I'm just going to basically... Let it go, and yeah, I already repair my car. It cost me money, obviously. Nobody's gonna like fix my car for free, you know. And sorry if I'm telling you this in a get ready, <laughs> but this is New York City. Welcome to America. For this look, when I see, I'm in love with this like side of this palette. This one is very nice too, but I, because this is for every day. But here is like more for a smoky kind of type of looks. And I just love it. I'm gonna apply this mascara. This one is E Lash Blowout by E Cosmetics. And I'm gonna apply this on my lashes. Those lashes I'm using are by Lil Lashes and this one called Lux. And I love them, they're great for hoodie eye. If you do have hoodie eyes, they're amazing. You can still see your eyelid. But if you do apply all the thicker eye, uh, lashes and you don't have so much space like me, it might cover all your eyelids, so these ones are great for this type of smoky eye look. Your Intense Liquid Eyeliner. This one right here. I'm going to be using this new product, and this is by NARS, and it's called Summer Unrated, and it's a bronzer duo blush. It's a little bit difficult to open, I have to be honest. It's like, oh, there you go. I made it. And I hear bad things about this product, but I still like want to try it. And this is the first time. I mean, I tried already and it was like, it was like non-existing. Hopefully it shows better now. I'm going to use the bronzer. Okay, showing up a little bit. Very subtle. Okay. An episode might like this situation with these people next door. And they're right here. We share a driveway. And it's just hell. Because they... Sometimes I go out with my car, like, to draw my daughter at school. That is, like, seven, eight houses from here, her school. And when I'm going to drop her, when I'm going to come in my driveway, it's blocked. And I cannot access to my driveway. Because he got, like, eight, ten pickup trucks there or big cars in there and I just cannot get to my driveway to, to the side of my on my property like to I don't know how to explain it like I cannot access to my driveway to the side of my property to go to the back to park where I oh, supposed to be parking and be parking every time when I because that's my property that we renting we're paying for this house and this house come with that backyard which is where you know, underneath there's like the garage and, and the cars goes there. And that's why my husband parks in the front of the house every day because we just cannot. Most of the time, these people work, I mean, these people work Monday to Sunday. And most of the time when we come, we cannot just access to our own property because there's a 19 cars there. And who are you going to call? The cops? To complain that you can access to your own house? Who are going to complain? To the cops, the cops are useless. They just, they're not interested. They don't care. It's just very bizarre, the whole thing, I gotta tell you. Like, the whole thing is very, very bizarre. Like, I cannot do anything. I, I have nobody to complain about this situation. 
The only way I can do is like take them to court. But court say, the people in court say, it can take up to three years. Up to three years, I hope I'm already out of this house. So I'm not going to go that route for sure. And this whole thing is an injustice. It's unfair. But like, you cannot do anything about it. Like, what? I need to get myself a lawyer. What the hell am I going to get a lawyer? I got to pay for a lawyer. I'm not, I'm not going to the road. I don't want to get a lawyer, spend money that I don't, I don't have, and I need for my own place. Sorry. And the owner of this place doesn't want to do anything. He just want to receive his check. The, I told him, I told him, like, we had a contract until next year, uh, all the way to the end of December next year 2024 and he said to us like I understand all these things I'm so sorry but if you feel like it doesn't work for you just leave like he doesn't give a shit he doesn't care he basically told us like okay well I you know like right now with the pandemic like there's a lot of people looking for houses to rent um you just leave like it's fine we break the contract and you guys can leave but again we already went to different places to steer for other houses and the houses are just very bad. Like, like the rooms are very, like the, the, they had like two, three bedrooms but extremely small, smaller than this place. And yeah, you do have a driveway by yourself. You know, the house come with a driveway. But there's other issues that come with a house. Like, you know, like for example, um, there's some areas that need to be like, um, how I can say, like, it's no paint. There's some old kitchen cabinets that are falling, like, things like that, you know. There's some houses that have rats inside. And we just, we're dealing with an issue here, and then we're moving to another place to have the same issue or, or another type of issue. I think it's just better, like, to find buy our own place. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait a little bit longer and buy our own place. I'm going to introduce you to this beautiful palette. This is by Pam McGrath. And it's called Pomegranate Labs Divine Blush Plus Glow Cheek Palette. This one is in New Venus. And it's, I, I swear, when I got this palette, I thought it was like a, such a small little palette. But it's very, very big. Like, look at the size of my face and look at the palette. Like, wow. It's huge. And it comes with a huge mirror. And it's so pretty. Look, it comes four blushes and comes a highlighter. So I'm going to be using this blush over here and I'm going to be using the highlighter which is so pretty like so pretty for sure in the beginning when I tried I was like oh, this highlighter like so texture like it gave me texture on my skin but no after like applying it for a few minutes I noticed that it's so pretty like it it's just so shimmery and beautiful. It had this beautiful glow. So yeah, things are not even very easy. I like finally was able to enjoy my Christmas with my mother this last this past year because she's uh, somebody that gave me a lot of stress. You have no idea, like a lot of a lot of stress, and she always made my my holiday like miserable because you know there's always a complaint or something and she's great she's happy I, I talk to her almost every day and she tell me like all the things she's been doing and she's been very very happy I mean she's still complaining and whining about everybody else what else is new <laughs> you know but like I finally took a break on that and then I've been dealing with these people next door and yeah it just it's crazy I didn't want to put my nose to. So pretty. Obsessed with this palette for sure. Um, I'm going to apply a lipstick. The lip balm I'm using on my lips is this one by MAC. I do love this product. It's called Lip Conditioner. Uh, this thing is amazing because my lips are so dry for winter. Like, it's crazy. And I want to apply this beautiful red lipstick. And this one is by Tom Ford. And it's called Eddie Impassionate. Passionate and it's such a beautiful like color. Like, look at that. Very very pretty. So I just wanna apply it. And 
and it's very glossy. It feels almost like a lip gloss, but it's a lipstick. In the meantime, I keep having people coming to my door, ringing the bell every two minutes of the day, complaining that I have construction in my house. And what can I say? I don't even say anything. I just say, oh, we're the wrong house. Sometimes I slam the door to people because they're so rude and they want to enter into my place, telling me like, oh, you don't have a permit. I don't see a permit in your window, in your door, to be doing construction. And I just like, this is not the house. You got the wrong house. I don't even say anymore like it's the people down like next door. I'm just like, I want, I want nothing to do. I don't want to be part of anything to do with those people next door. Like there's a lot of things going on there. Like I see through the camera, like all the people like constantly in, in and out of the house and driving around my car in my property. And I just don't want any part of any other stuff. I just like, you know, like I just decide to move on from the whole situation and just, I don't want to get involved in that anymore. I just want the time to pass so I can like get my place and get out of here. We're looking for places already. We start looking already. And we're gonna start seeing, um, we had an appointment to see our real estate soon, in a few weeks, to start looking for, you know, visiting different houses. And we also want a way for our daughter to finish her uh, grade in this school. She finished like by the end of June. So then we can lab, like moving by uh, July, August, September, even October, you know, early October, God willing. So we can like leave. I mean, when you're having, you're in your house and then somebody crash your car, parking your own house. Like how, like make that make sense. Like you're in your place with your car inside your place and there's somebody that is your neighbor coming all the way from your house, from their house to crash your car. Uh, and there's many cars a day in and out of your, or your property or around your car and your property, you know, it's just, like made that make sense, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. I love this palette for sure. It's very intense, very dramatic, it's very pretty. And I love the way it smells, it smells so good. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, and leave me your comments. They made me so happy, you have no idea. Something to, to kind of like forget about everything that's going on right now that it sounds like kind of silly to you probably, but for me it's really very real and this is what's happening right now and just not fun. I wish to be having like, I mean, I want to have lots of videos for you, but now that they're working indoor inside the house and they're just doing all this noise inside, I can come here like at the middle of the night, like now that I decide to come here. Decide to come like 12.30, it's 1.28 already, like midnight is the only way to film videos because, you know, it's kind of impossible with these people next door. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Send you so many hugs and kisses all the way in your way. <laughs> and see you in the next video, okay?